Hey everyone, it's me, Arielle Chanel. So I wanted to share a little story with you guys about something that happened to me. Um, and it kind of opened my eyes to some things. So last week, um, I had gotten up when my sister was leaving to go to school to go to the bathroom real quick um, and then go back to sleep because, you know, sometimes that happens. But anyways, uh, and while I'm in the bathroom, I hear my sister come back in the house and she says her bus has been delayed, so she need to hang out for a little while because it's cold outside. Okay, cool. No biggie. It's her house. The problem was when she came back, she came back with about six or seven other young kids hanging out in the living room, all of them like party central at six in the morning. Now I'm in the bathroom and not only am I in the bathroom and it's early and I'm tired, I'm wearing a onesie. I'm a 27 year old in the bathroom in a onesie. Complete embarrassment just comes over me. And I'm sitting there trying to figure out how can I get out of the bathroom back to my room without them seeing me. Now, if you've been in my house before, you know that that is virtually impossible because the only way to get to my room is to go through the living room, which is where everyone is. So I decided in the first instinct to just sit there and be quiet and not say a word and maybe no one will know that there's somebody in the bathroom for about 50 billion years just sitting there. But then I thought about it and I was really tired and I wanted to go back to sleep. So I knew the only way that I can get what I needed was for me to go out into this public area in my onesie and go to my room. So what I ended up doing was leaving the bathroom and trying to scurry past them. Hopefully they don't see me. I'll get upstairs and everything will be all good. Well, no. My sister's friend decides. He wants to say, hi, Arielle, how's it going? And I'm trying, you know, to walk quick, but I say hello. I respond and he goes, I love your onesie. Totally hitting on the one thing I was trying to hide as I'm walking upstairs. But I responded and I said, you know, thanks. I appreciate it. And went upstairs. My tone wasn't really as happy sounding as it is right now. But I did respond. I did say thank you. And I went upstairs. And he went back with his day. Now when I got upstairs, certain things started to hit me. One was, did it really kill you? Walking back to your room uh, with this onesie on and these little kids? Like, no, it didn't. It didn't didn't do anything. They went about their day. You're going back to sleep. You're fine, right? You got what you needed. And I started to think about how crazy it is sometimes that I would want to hide instead of embracing who I am. I'm a 27 year old in a onesie. And yes, this is the onesie that I had on while I was in the bathroom hiding. Um, and I was sitting there on my bed and I started thinking about how we are sometimes with God and we feel like, God, I have to put on all of these airs to be able to serve you. I have to put on this big facade to be able to show people your love and who you are. Because if I came to them in my purple onesie, they wouldn't receive me. And it made me think about Eve in the Bible and Adam. And when they were in the garden and they said, we heard your voice, but we were naked. So we hid. And we're still hiding today. We're still walking as if we're ashamed of our nakedness. When in all actuality, it's our nakedness that will draw people to him. And as I'm 
as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about how many times we forfeit a blessing in my instance. It was that extra 10 minutes of sleep that I lost because I didn't want to go out of my bathroom. But how many things we miss and we forfeit because we don't want to be real and we don't want to show who we truly are. And then I also think about how many people miss what's for them because we don't want to be real and we don't want to show who we really are. Because there may be somebody else who might have a purple onesie just like I do. And they may feel, well, that's kind of embarrassing for me to wear a purple onesie. But then they see me in my purple onesie at 27 and it makes them feel, you know what? It's fine that I'm a 16, 17, 18 year old who still wears a onesie because Ariel still wears a onesie and she's living. She's fine. Sometimes people need that moment. They need to see us. In our onesies, our vulnerability, so that they can know, hey, look, this person that I see, that I look up to, that I feel is thriving and is making it, they have ups, they have downs, just like me, but God is taking care of them. God still loves them. God still uses them. So how much more would he do for me? Who he says that he loves and he cares for and will take care of. So, I don't know. I don't know why I felt that I needed to share this story. But I feel like it's time that we do strip away some of the layers. Especially if we're going to say that we're walking in faith and taking these leaps of faith. What is it if we don't want to show what leap it is that we have to take. If we want to hide that and we only want to say, yep, I took a leap of faith and this is where I got. But what did you have to go through to get there? How many nights did you have to cry to get there? How many times did you sit and say, Lord, I'm dirty. I have morning breath. I have crust in my eye. How many times are we going to hide those things? I don't know. I feel like it is that year. It's that year that we, we strip away the layers. We strip away all of the things that are unnecessary so that we can really get to the heart, to the heart of people. And to the heart of God. Because I don't know about you, but it's pretty hard to really be close and connected with somebody when there's walls in between you. And all of the facades we put on, all of the covering we put on, I feel that's that's how God feels. Like, I want to touch you. I want to be close. But you have all these things. All these things blocking And you're not getting, you're not, you're not allowing me to get deeper with you, to go deeper with you. So I hope that somebody out there, when you hear this, you know, you'll take off the mask, whatever it may be. Sometimes it may be our actual physical appearance, the things that we wear, um, you know, The smile that we have on our face might not even be closed. It might just be the smile, the always smile when we know we're really hurting inside. Because even in those moments when we're hurting, God can be glorified. So that's it. It's all I have to say. I will talk to you all later. Bye. Yes, I almost forgot again. Like, subscribe, share this video, and comment below on the things that are your purple onesie. Or even, you know, post a picture of you in a onesie, whatever it may be. But share some love. Tell me what you think about the video. And tell me what you want to hear me talk about or what you care about. Could be anything. I don't know. Ariel, do you play the bagpipes? Whatever. I'll talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.